Hello everybody, Steve here, and today I have something a little bit different for you guys. So, uh, as you know, some of you know that uh, it's not too long ago that I started with these disc detainer locks, and um, I only have a few locks right now, but in order to pick them, I started out by getting a cheap Chinese disc detainer pick like this. <clears throat> this is a brand new one, so some of you have gotten these and tried these and then uh, of course <clears throat> when I first started using it I actually broke the tip off and then I screwed up the thumb turn on there this is a brand new one but uh, after having to work with it this is what I ended up with a high, highly modified so I got a new tip on there that I made and a new thumb turn that I made <clears throat> in order for me to to use this properly I had to kind of do that and in order to make these tips I use these uh, ejector pins from that I got from Amazon 1.5 millimeter ejector pins <clears throat> and then I just took it on my <clears throat> on my grinder outside and just gr ground it down to the shape I needed and made it just the size I needed a little thick but just the size that I needed <clears throat> and then when I started getting more involved in it I decided I needed to get a better lock pick for that and so that's when I ended up getting the sparrows of course and so that brings me up to what I want to talk about today is that uh, while I was window shopping on AliExpress looking for some other disc detainer lock picks you know trying to get an idea what they had and stuff like that as I move in and as I plan on getting more of those locks and stuff later on I decide to do that but as I was looking on Aliexpress I ran across this little guy so this is this is a Hayoshi disc detainer lock pick but it looks very very familiar looks almost exactly like the sparrows one <clears throat> the biggest difference is of course is you know there are some differences but obviously the color and the handles they're they're actually shorter this one is a, a steel you can it's magnetic is still so that's still however this is actually aluminum <laughs> Except for the tension tension nose down here, <clears throat> but uh, so biggest difference is this is made out of aluminum, so it's definitely a lot lighter than this. And of course, the tip is better than these ones, but it's not the best tip. And then, <clears throat> so when I got this, I, just, I was excited to try it out, and I stuck it in my Unity lock and started to and got this onto that first disc and started to turn it and it just kept turning and turning and turning and turning and turning pull it out <clears throat> and this uh, tension nose wasn't was just moving around it wasn't even uh, <clears throat> it wasn't even uh, screwed in place or tightened in place or anything like that and so when I got looking at it I found out that these little handlebars they screw in there and it goes down to where the tension nose is but they don't go down far enough and so I have seen a couple people that have basically made these longer so that it reaches down in there but uh, I decided to take a different approach with that and <clears throat> I basically just took and drilled a hole all the way through tapped it and then I had a couple grub screws and I just put one grub screw on one side and the other one on the other side and so that tightened it up and then in order to <clears throat> make sure that this doesn't twist on me uh, I basically clamped this tension nose in a vise and ran a file on it to give me a couple flat spots so that I could uh, just tighten these grub screws on there and it won't move so I did it flat spots on both sides here and then I also did it on this side here just depending on what lock I'm using I can turn it different ways 
<clears throat> anyway, so I put this together. The other thing was, was uh, um, just like this, the nose doesn't go very far into the body itself of the, of the lock pick. It just kind of sticks out. And <clears throat> so far, when I've been working with these disc detainers, I've kind of liked to have this flat on the bottom of the lock to help me keep things straight and so the second thing I did was took a drill and drilled it in there through here and drilled it deeper so that this tip can go all the way down in here so <clears throat> a couple little modifications that I've made with this thing and so the biggest takeaway that I have is you know is that uh, you know some of these uh, cheap Chinese copy lock picks are kind of nice but almost always you're gonna have to do some modifications to make it work the way you want and <clears throat> as far as the price it was a little bit cheaper than this one but I mean if I were for me it's like yeah you could get this but you're gonna have to modify it it's just as easy to get one of these <laughs> but anyway enough of that um, obviously the tip is a lot different it's bigger it's square and thicker than the sparrows one but uh, <clears throat> so I'm sure somebody wants to see what this how this works and stuff like that and of course aluminum stuff makes makes picking feel a little bit different but it does work and so um, I have this one set up to pick my unity so I set this one up to pick my Zarker so that means I uh, push the nose in further and set it up that way and then I <clears throat> then I set the pick tip down here so that when I get onto that the first disc inside there then it's on that first line <clears throat> but anyway so let's see how this works and uh, yes, I'm still using my little turner, which is the tailpiece from some lock somewhere. Somebody, some lock is missing a tail. Anyway, so I'm just going to, just like any other one, just like uh, the other lock picks, I'll just line this up there. Put it in my, it's pretty, I haven't, I haven't even done anything with this. So it's pretty tight going into this arker, but it does go in. <clears throat> and of course I got it tension the tensioner tension set up to just pick up that first disc and then we'll just start running through these disc <clears throat> so it does have little lines on there just like the sparrows and that definitely helps to uh, see where you're at and they and it does pretty much line up you know with the disc <clears throat> and uh, yeah I can feel the gates and stuff it just feels it, it feels a lot different than the other one kind of more flimsy I'm comparing it to the sparrows feels more flimsy and I can still feel things but it's just not quite the same we're almost there get this Oops, keep slide, keep uh, skipping past the disc okay there's I'm on the last one get this get this one set yeah, I kind of got the pick tip set up to work pretty much okay so I don't slip off the disc since it is thicker it does work a little differently okay there we go should be open oh I thought I had it open come on maybe I just slipped off hopefully I didn't mess it up it's kind of a quick pick with the Zarker 
Just kind of hoping it works really quick. Oh, I messed something up in there. Anyway, you get the idea that, uh, <clears throat> I mean, obviously it does work. I have been able to pick this. I messed up something somewhere in there, but. <clears throat> so, I mean, there's a lot of similarities between the different lock picks and stuff. You know, and they do work. They do work. They do do its job, but uh, obviously the, the purple one, like the purple one, does work. It just feels different than this one. But uh, <clears throat> sometimes you, I mean, it is cheaper, but it does cost more than the these other ones. But <clears throat> it definitely. Definitely nice because I don't really, if I want to modify it to work with whatever lock, I don't really feel as bad doing it with something that doesn't cost that much. But uh, anyway, there are big differences. Anyway, so keep rambling on. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. And so those that are curious, that may have seen that and curious about them, there we go. A little bit of a, a little bit of a video on those guys. But anyway. Make sure that uh, you're subscribed and you leave a like. Leave comments down below and tell me what you think. Have you have anybody else uh, gotten one of these and tried them out? So, <clears throat> if it were me, I would go for. I would just go ahead and get one of the sparrows ones out of these. <laughs> anyway, thank you very much for watching, everybody, and have a wonderful day.